also to introduce some. Your Excellency, the Deputy High Commissioner of Australia to Fiji, Permanent Secretaries, the Deputy Vice Chancellor USP, ladies, gentlemen, brothers and sisters, respected Talatala, the Honorable Assistant Minister, and youths of Fiji. Bola Binaka and a very good morning to you all. When I took this portfolio as the Minister of Youth, everybody that I met basically said everything and anything that we must do this for youth, we must do that for youth. And I said to my management that I'm really concerned and I'm hearing a lot of things about our youth. And in consultation with my management, we resolved that we should get all our youths throughout the country under one roof and hear them out. What are their needs? What they want to say as a youth of this country? And that decision has brought us together this morning. And I will be with all of you for three days. Directly or indirectly, I will engage myself. I'll try to meet as much as you that are present here on a one-to-one -one basis. And I really want to know from you. And that is the reason why ministry decided to have this youth and sports conference. I join my PS in welcoming all of you to the 2019 National Youth and Sports Conference. It is my pleasure to greet you all, the youth leaders of Fiji from the Northern, Eastern, Central and Western Division. Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by thanking all these youth leaders for being here with us as we commence on what will be an exciting National Youth Conference ahead of us. It is my honor this morning to acknowledge the presence of the representatives of regional and international organizations, conference speakers, and at the outset, let me also acknowledge the presence of the relevant government ministries who have a youth component to their programs and who are present here and will be present during these three days of conference. My heartfelt appreciation to the Vice Chancellor of the University of the South Pacific for allowing us to use their facilities here at the Lodala campus. This is a notable show of support and ladies and gentlemen from the University towards youth empowerment and development in this country. An area in which they have notable expertise and have led Fiji and the region now into their 51st year. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2019 National Youth Conference is themed empowering youths to be the agents of change and promoting sports for development. Can we all put our hands together for our special Olympic team? We arrived in this country on Saturday with gold, silver, and bronze medal, and have brought name and fame to our beautiful island. The theme sums up the Fiji First government's belief in and commitment to our young people and their ability to contribute to our nation. As mentioned earlier on, 
70% of Fiji's population is under 45 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a remarkably young population for a young nation like ours. And this means we face challenges and growing pain with such a large young population. It is commonly said that the youths are the leaders of tomorrow, that they are our tomorrow. I strongly believe that they already are the leaders of today. Yes, it is our today that they have charge of. By being the leaders of our tomorrow, and that, ladies and gentlemen, means that they will develop into even stronger leaders of tomorrow. The handing over of the pattern of the personal, communal, and national development, and all the challenges, opportunities, and responsibilities that it holds to our youth is based on which this conference is held. Change, ladies and gentlemen, is inevitable. To progress, we must change. We must change our mindset, change our attitude, change our approach, change with change. Such changes will enable our youth to become agents of change by realigning our focus on major issues affecting our community and our beloved country. Ladies and gentlemen, under the Fiji First Government, the focus on change has led to marked improvements on how and why we run the nation. We have witnessed large-scale targeted infrastructure developments and upgrades. The Fiji First Government have introduced new policies and initiatives to benefit the ordinary Fijians in areas such as education, health, welfare, public transport, and the environment, to name a few. Your government recognizes that young people are the leaders of today, who are also leaders in waiting for tomorrow. The shift will be in the scale of their leadership, from the village settlement, town and city, or community leadership of today to the national scale. As your line minister, I firmly believe that we must listen to you. And more importantly, we want to hear from you. This is one of the ministry's conference objectives. This is to listen to your contribution as key stakeholders. Government is committed to the development of young Fijians. By listening to young people, we will be able to progress changes in policies. High on the Fiji First Government agenda is the development of national youth policy. And proper studies and planning of this begins right here with you and your input into this conference. It will enable us to review youth development and sports programs and offerings relevant to contemporary youth development in rural, urban, and peri-urban areas. Ladies and gentlemen, to drive home an earlier point, it is important to note that current percentage of youth population makes it the highest in Fiji's history. And this is no doubt brings with it many challenges. But it also opens exciting windows of opportunities. Let us use this youth conference to promote dialogue. Let us introduce a new world of the international language on climate change and environment sustainability. Let us use the world and its vast cultural significance to address and challenges and embrace opportunities for our youth population. Let us tell them what. 
There is open dialogue to promote understanding across cultural and generations. And this act of engaging in Talanma will advance our common interest for all young people in building a prosperous Fiji. Let us use it to challenge the critical issues that hinder the progress of young Fijians today. Issues such as suicide, sexual assault, physical and cyberbullying, sexual harassment, unemployment, and mental health, just to name a few. Let us talk and engage with and beyond numbers and states as we look at ways of overcoming adversity. As young people in this fast developing world, you face a lot of challenges. Challenges that must be met. I can assure you that this Fiji First government supports you and is committed to openly and honestly addressing challenges. So that we can move forward towards the exciting opportunities afforded to Fiji through its large youth population. Ladies and gentlemen, the key element to achieving this is to build consensus and build capacity and capability for change. This means we need to work together. National development goals to create employment opportunities, minimize poverty, to reach desired education, to improve health, to advance gender equality and inclusion and create a sustainable planet that are founded on the Fiji First government's commitment to make smart investment in youth and partner with young people. Ladies and gentlemen, investing in young people's education, health and employment will ensure better prospect for our own lives and for Fiji's development. These are the simple and obvious choices to ensure that through this investment now, we will eliminate poverty and ignorance for generations to come. This is already documented in the Fiji government national five-year and 20-year plan, and its goal towards enabling sustainable development by building on our youth potential. In this conference, you will hear from selected speakers and discuss topics relevant to you. I encourage you all to utilize the MOL and identify areas we can address to work together. We were very open. We were not forcing you to go and join in certain uh, breakout sessions. It was your choice. We make sure that it has to be your choice and not for these people to say, you go in this breakout session, you go in that. No. As I said earlier on, we want to hear you. By working together, we can redouble our efforts to guarantee that all young people of Fiji have the knowledge, skills and opportunities to reach their fullest potential. Ladies and gentlemen, today I call on leaders from all walks of life, from the corporate to the community heads, to listen to the voices of the young people, to invest in young people, and to involve young people meaningfully in all decision-making that affects their lives. I call on you young women and men to stay involved and to stand up for the rights of all your sisters and brothers who are vulnerable in our local community. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Ministry of Youth and Sports, we are committed to the partnership with young people, and we will bring as many of the relevant stakeholders as we can to the table to ensure that such partnerships are made viable and achievable. Please allow me to share this with all of you, the youth leaders, who have come together for this conference. Contribute as much as you can in a meaningful and constructive way. Your contribution to the diverse range of issues affecting our nation today is very, very important. Learn from what others have to share. Take something back from this conference that is important for you and your community. Stay focused and respect each other's views. 
especially those that are different from yours, because we all come from different backgrounds. However, your collective contributions will form the foundation of a united, progressive and prosperous Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, it was the 32nd President of the United States who said, and I quote, we cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. End of quote. I would like to propose that perhaps his words are the best way to sum up the rationale for the conference ahead. Thank you for your attention this morning. And I trust that you will be the agents and champions of change that we look for in our youth as our future leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, it is my profound duty and privilege to now officially open the 2019 National Youth and Sports Conference. Thank you.